Hello there kids, that is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we were looking through caches of, well, our old friend Ulysses. We are apparently an old friend. Uh, it's still not clear at this point yet. I know how clear it's supposed to be. And <laughs> that's I'm just mainly keeping it in suspense for you guys but currently oh boy i gotta deal with that first uh gotta get moving around so that way i can blow that one up because there is still an explored area over that direction uh which means i gotta grab the uh detonator there and start doing this and here's hoping it takes it there we go. Warhead number four. Oh, dicks. Now I got problems. Okay. Okay. Okay, now they're throwing things. Now they're throwing lots of things. Oh, jeez. Apparently did a lot of damage to his arm before he got this far. Okay. There we go. Got him. Okay. Um, jeez, there's still... Blister. Who's Blister? That's what I want to know. Uh, Blister... Oh! That's one of the named enemies. That's one of the named, like, kind of lieutenant general sort of things. Uh, Blister. I don't remember what he has. Shit. <laughs> Okay, um, we're gonna have to go after him, like, really hard, because I'm pretty sure whatever he has is fucking deadly, so I'm just going to unload. Wow, that worked better than I expected. There we go, now he's gone. Beautiful. Okay, that fucking, Jesus, Howard, that fucking flare gun is spot on. Holy shit. Um, trying to go after this guy here. I can't really hit him from this angle. Jeez. How am I not hitting him? Maybe it's the range. Let me try the survivalist rifle. Yep. Seems like he keeps moving around. This guy's moving around just as much. Can't fucking see him through all this fucking sand. There we go. Got a good hit on him. It's just not giving me any marker on his health. There's one guy. Okay. Alright. There is just a few hits left on this guy. There we go. Beautiful. Uh let's go back to the little devil. And clear out this last guy who's apparently over here. Apparently, yep. He was just hiding the entire time. Fucking little shit. Come on now. There we go. Jeez. Whew. I was about to say, I hope this reloaded itself when I put it away. Okay. Blister. Oh yeah, he had a flamer. It was a good thing I took him out. Got the beast helmet here. Yeah, they have different sort of uh, helmets, if I remember right. Different sort of uh, important helmets. Uh, honestly, don't remember how uh, good they really are, so I'm not going to pick them up and use them. But I remember there was something important about them. Uh... Mainly because they are broken down variants of the, uh, as you can probably see, they're broken down variants of the sort of helmet given to uh, Kaisar's legates. But I remember there was something important about them, but I don't right remember off the top of my head. Uh. But anyway, that was the first one, and I'm going to have to go through at least four if I remember right. So, 
We're going to be seeing more of them as time goes on. Just going to pick up some of the good stuff. Uh, human flesh, not so much good. Okay. That was, that was, uh, better than I expected. I'll give you that much. Okay, this hunter... Ooh, hollow points. Those are always good. And the hollow points I realized I will need for a specific enemy. <laughs> and I won't get into right now just to save the suspense, but it is, uh... And it's a pretty annoying one if you don't have the right sort of uh, weapons to deal with it. And I'm just hoping I'm able to deal with it because those things are a pain in the ass. <sighs> okay. What I should be doing, what with my health being the way it is, I should probably pop a stim pack or two. There we go. And, uh,. Let's see if I can fix any of those weapons I just picked up, huh? Or fix them up to a decent point. Uh. Whoa. That thing is almost broken to nothing. Um. Let's see. Does my medicine stick need any fixing? No? Huh. Shit. I really should use it more. I'm mainly holding off because I keep thinking, what if I need to repair it? And then I end up don't needing to repair it because I don't use it. Okay, I'll just put those together for now. Blade of the West. Uh, Super Sledge. Which one would be more valuable between the two of them? I don't remember. I just know that the uh, Super Sledge is completely broken. So I won't really know unless I put them together. Alright. 2364. Ah. That... that I think that's about on par with the, uh, that's on par with the weapon, uh, with the Blade of the West, yeah. There we go, I'll just grab all the stuff off of him, because he decided he didn't want to fight, it should be a lot, yep, looks like it. Uh, banana yucca and frag grenade, thank you. Alright, we got this guy here who was sitting with the arc welder, not doing anything. That's kind of funny to me. Okay, pick all these up. What's the worth of the incendiary grenades? I keep picking them up, but I realize I don't know how valuable they are. They're relatively valuable. I'd say more valuable than the frag grenades, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm picking them up, then. Okay. And we got this guy here. That had flamer fuel and a flare gun. What the? He had two. Okay. That's really weird. Um, there we go. Plasma Defender. Uh, the flare gun is not as valuable, I think. Yep, it's not. So I'll just pair those together. Yep, that is far more valuable in the long run. Uh, I'm sure I'll pick up more flare guns. In the off chance that I'll need it, which I'm pretty sure I do, I'll pick another one up soon. Okay. We are here in this little enclosure. Not entirely sure what I'm going to be getting myself into here, mainly because I don't remember. <laughs> but, I'm sure it'll be something. I made a little fucking teepee. A little concrete teepee out of cinder blocks. Huh. That, that's something. I mean, really, it's only big enough to be standing in it. But hey, I mean, it's a thing. Kind of an ingenious thing. Okay, what do we got in here? Uh, some good stuff. Got some rockets in here. That's some good stuff. Uh, gotta get into this. Jesus, come on. Yeah, let me get into the bitch. Come on, there we go. Alrighty. And let's get around this way. There we go. That didn't That worked out better than I expected. <laughs> okay, damaged shipping crate. What's in this? The junk food. And really the only thing I'm interested in the <laughs> interested in is the junk food, rather. Because that 
that's about it, really. Get the rocket canisters here. There we go. Got some good amount of rounds there. Good amount of rounds there. Got a little ammunition box. Ooh, some good rounds there. Alrighty. So far, so good. Uh, yeah. I think that's about all I'm going to be able to get in this area. Yeesh. I did not expect it to go as well as it did. Oh, great. There's another one I need to deal with. Just within feet of the one I just blew up. Boy. Now it's going to become a regular thing, isn't it? Okay. I just searched this area and researched it. <laughs> so. Yeah, I think we got to move on to the next one now. Ah, oh, geez. It's ramping up quicker than I anticipated. Okay, let's get this going. And... Kaboom. Um, where'd that car alarm come from? <laughs> Yeesh. I don't remember there being car alarms. <laughs> That's a new thing. Um, <laughs> geez, that was a lot of explosions, though. Okay. That was a thing. <laughs> Kaboom was right. <laughs> Okay, well, um, fuck. Alright. Really, the only way I'm going to get across is these, uh, vehicles here. There we go. Because everything else right there is kind of, uh, not usable anymore. The collapsed overpass tunnel. Uh, well, here we are place where horrors come true and uh you might be wondering why I say that um this is where that particular kind of enemy I was talking about resides um well this general area anyway it is extremely tough extremely durable uh, and <laughs> those kind of go hand in hand but it also does a lot of damage really quickly and there's a lot of them there is an excessive amount of them they are really good at what they do and what they do is not very nice <laughs> and I have been kind of dreading this moment since I started this DLC <laughs> because I've gone against them once, and it almost didn't go well. I almost quit the DLC because I could not pass them. It is an ordeal. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure, with all my equipment... And everything else I have going for me, I should be able to do it. But I'm still not sure. <laughs> because I had the little devil at this point when I did it the first time. And I'm still not confident with it. <sighs> I shouldn't be hyping it up as much and I should just get going, but... <laughs> I don't believe it. Grant actually went to Colonel Autumn and got approval for her damned efficiency guidelines. Oh. All experiments will be carried out with the test subject fully active to reduce iteration time. It's barbaric. I've explained this to the Colonel. Just because the iBots don't have true AI doesn't mean they're just machines. I guess results are all that matter around here. Forget things like ethical procedures or humane treatment. I'm starting to have serious hmm. misgivings about leadership around here. At least I've got you to talk to, hi, Eddie. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've, I can't believe they'd approve that. I've met enough robots to know they're more than just machines. 
Uh, really protective of his eyebots, huh? Yeah, uh... Sounds more like a father than an inventor in these logs. Yeah, uh, he must have tried to change things. He doesn't seem like the type to let that slide. Hmm. Let's press on. We got a lot of ground to cover. And a lot of things that I'm going to be focused on trying to survive! That's a death claw. Okay. I think that was the thing that's supposed to show how deadly these things are. Because that was a death claw that just walked past. And now the death claw is not visible. Uh, scrap metal, I'll take that. And... It's very much not visible anymore. Oh, boy. I'm gonna swap to the medicine stick right now. There we go. Uh, <laughs> There's nothing in there, right? Well, nothing I can reach. Ah, my phone got fully charged. That was what that beeping's about. Ah, yes, I can get in there. Good. And I'm gonna look and see if I can grab these. Those noises. Those noises. Can we stop with those noises, please? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Can we find the death claw body before we move forward? Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure you'll want to see what I'm talking about. Oops, I picked up apparently one can too many. Uh, jeebus. Okay, let's see if I can repair anything. Uh, there we go. Repair the Bowie knife. I really should be doing that, because that's more valuable. Uh, there we go. And... Use a straight razor. There we go. Paired up enough. Um... And I still have a lot of weight on me. Is there anything I can do to fix that? Not really. Uh, marked beast helmet. Um... Hmm it with a trooper helmet, I think. Yeah, I could do that. There we go. Just so I can have the, uh, valuable one. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, there's radiation over there. I don't remember that being a thing. Must be on the other side. Uh, Eddie, you mind holding a couple things? Because I keep getting overburdened here. And that's the last thing I want to be doing around here. <laughs> okay. Um, most of it is weaponry anyway. Let's see. Uh, Super Sledge, yeah. I'll let you have that. Let you have the Tri-Beam. Yeah. That should give me enough leeway. Um. Yep. That was one of the enemies I was talking about. Okay, that was the barrel. Um. I'm gonna pop the pop Radix. Just so I don't have to deal with that radiation as much. Alright, and there's the death claw. Like I was saying, they're strong enough to take down a death claw. That should be worrisome to you guys already. And to me it already is. Okay, we got the nail gun here. Apparently, an NCR trooper was still alive in here. An NCR trooper that had not been... Well, you know, converted into the... Marked men. Okay, ammunition. Flashbangs. Those I'll need, too. Those ones I'll really need. Flashbang grenades are special grenades that deal fatigue damage, reduce enemy weapon skills, and have a chance to frenzy tunnelers. And that I'll need, because as 
long as they're frenzying, they're not attacking me. We got Bravo Team Mission Orders. I guess that was the team that was sent after the Marked Men became a thing. <sighs> I'll take that nail gun. I can reuse that for things. Um, let's go to data. Whoops. There we go. Uh, flashbang information. Yeah. Um, where is the Bravo Team mission orders? Uh, it's not showing up. That's weird. Um, huh. Where did it go? Give me a second. <laughs> because I need to find it. Uh, doesn't make sense that it just disappear like that. This is not in MISC. It's really weird. Bravo team... Where did it go? That's really odd. Okay, well, I'll find out in a moment, I guess. But, I mean, you guys have already seen what they can do. Not nice. <laughs> and it can, in fact, take the head off a death claw. So, I think you guys should realize I wasn't really talking shit. Oh, and a couple NCR Rangers to boot. Okay. Yep, there's. There's those. Oh, hey, boy. <laughs> Oh, no. And their weapons are gone, too. How about that? Yep, okay. I got too close to that. Please, could you stop those noises? Okay. Okay. Well. I should probably, uh... should probably... <laughs> uh, get those to a hotkey. Uh, where should I put them, though, is the question. Uh, my katana's gonna be very useless in this area, so I'm just gonna pop that off for now. Uh, okay. You can go home, courier. Yeah, I kinda want to right now. I'll be honest. <laughs> I really do. Oh, Jesus. And they keep doing the fucking little... <sighs> they keep doing the little jumpies. Little jumpy scares. No, they're really not jumpy scares. But if you know what you're looking at, they are. <laughs> okay. We're a little bit over time. And, uh, I need a moment to calm myself for what's going to be coming, because it's going to be a thing, and I'm not going to like it. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to calm myself down with a shower. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only stray cat playing games and uh, getting scared like big babby over these fucking things that you haven't even gotten to see how bad they are yet for you. I know how bad they are, but no one... I don't know they know what they're in for yet. Ah... Uh.